There are so many exports, guys. What are we gonna do? There must be thousands of them. Maybe a hundred, guys. I haven't seen this many exports since the attack on my planet. Well, guys, the only way we're gonna defeat them is if we join together and fight. Mega Force, ready! Wait a second, guys. Look up there. It's legendary rangers. And there's so many of them. Mighty Morphin. Yeah. In space. Wild Force. Ninja Storm. Dino Thunder. Ready guys? Ready! Let's make this legendary! Hey guys, Legendary Battle Episode 20 of Power Rangers Super Mega Force aired yesterday on Nick. Uh, I didn't catch it though because they put the episode 3 hours before on Nick on Netflix.com. So I was able to watch the episode and overall, it was what I expected. It was going to be bad. It was only going to be 2 minutes Legendary Battle. But overall, let's talk about the episode itself. Start off with like a previously on Power Rangers with the last episode of The Raft where the Rangers get... Uh, attacked by the armada and the whole thing begins and they all get and their megazord gets attacked and everything so yeah it pretty much states the obvious of what happened last time uh we start off the episode with the legendary rangers helping civilians we get we start off with carter and dana helping some guy get off something and then leo who saves a kid who's named um i forgot the kid's name it was the it was the name of the actor that played leo i, I do remember that but uh, then we also go to TJ and Cassie and then, you know, the other rangers that don't talk. But yeah, uh, the episode was... And then after that, the rangers, like, they group up and they start talking about everything's been destroyed. And this is the last thing we get with Gose, who just tells them that he hopes everything's okay. And yeah, Gose, we never see him again. Maybe they might, they might probably fix this in the extended episode where the, the rangers say a proper goodbye to Gose. And maybe he takes the powers back and everything. Maybe that might happen in the next episode. I don't know. Yet. Yeah. Of course, the one I didn't want to mention, Tommy saves some kid uh, in a car. Which is kind of weird. Like, I mean, where are the kid's parent parents? He He's just in the back and the, ki and the kid's parents, like, somewhere. And then Tommy's, like, out of nowhere. He just appears. And he jumps. He's like, hey, take Saba. Coming in 2015, kids. But, yeah, like, I mean, like, shouldn't the parents be there, like, screaming? Like, Tommy also, also helps the parents? No, just a kid. I guess it's either they don't really care about the parents or the parents just died from the Amarada attack. Uh, I did forget to mention that scene because I really don't care about Tommy. Honestly, he's kind of, he's kind of just, everybody talks too much about him. I've gotten sick of Tommy already, so that's why I barely even mention him in my videos. I'm more of a Power Ranger, you know, like, I'm, I'm more of like, I support the other Rangers rather than just Tommy. I didn't grow up with the original Mighty Morphin, of course, obviously, because I'm 13 years old. But a lot of people always say that I don't like Tommy because I wasn't originally born in Mighty Morphin. I've known a lot of people that used to like, used to like watch Mighty Morphin back in the day, and they said that some they've hated Tommy for obvious reasons because he took over the side of the leader, or he was talked about too much, and he and the other Rangers weren't appreciated, and that's the side I'm with. But like everybody says, oh no, you weren't born into it, so you don't really know about it. So I guess, you know, that's all they think. I never really have an explanation for. They never really let me explain the reason why I don't like him. They're just like, oh, you weren't born into the fandom when you were like, when I was three? Oh, you're not, you can't be, you can't be fighting against Tommy if you, if you weren't born with him. Uh, after the whole Legendary Ranger scene, the Rangers meet up and talk about the whole destruction of the planet, what they're gonna do. Uh, Gose tells them, you know, he gotta be strong, even though, what is that gonna do? Uh, then, the uh, the mysterious armada ship crashes and the rangers go check on what it is and it turns out to be Orion, which is a surprising moment of Power Rangers. We obviously didn't know he was going to come back. 
but yeah, he does, and they meet up, and they plan out what they're gonna do. Uh, in the next day, in the morning, the, range, the civilians are sleeping, and then they get attacked by the monster, which is a Christmas tree monster, because that's the way I'm gonna call him by now. Uh, the rangers fight him, obviously, and then everybody gets surprised that the rangers are back, they start clapping and everything. Uh, Orion and Troy, they go to fight the Emperor, and the four other rangers stay to fight the Christmas tree monster. They defeat him with a super mega cannon. Uh, Orion and Troy, they fly up to the Armada ship, like the mothership, and they fight it. They fight the Emperor, which is was pretty easy, saying he was just going to sit there and fight him off with his hands. That, that was pretty easy, to be honest. That was one of the easiest villains to defeat him, like, ever, with a super mega blast. He was defeated. Uh, the Rangers then they they after destroying the monster they go to some kind of place and they see the Armada ship like the mother ship like getting destroyed. Uh, all the other ships already that have been destroyed too because the Armada ship has like this big weapon cannon thing. And Troy set it off so it destroyed all the other ships. And yeah, the four other Rangers they go see and the Armada ship blows up and they think that Troy and Orion are dead. Turns out they're alive, and they go into in space mode, and they fly down, and then, yeah, they meet up. And Gio was the most, was the one that was crying the most, which is, I guess, okay. And I was looking at Jake's reaction, because Jake's all like, he's like, god damn it. I, I don't know what th that face was about, but yeah. And, yeah, the, I guess surprised, you know, we all get surprised at the defining moment that Orion and Troy are alive, which I was something that I was not expecting. But, uh, yeah, they live, and then they go, but there's still this big swarm of x -borgs, and what are they gonna do? They're gonna have to fight them off, but they don't have that much energy to fight them all off right there. And that's when the Legendary Rangers appear. Uh, we all knew it was gonna happen. Obviously, we they, they've been saying the Legendary Rangers when it comes to, like, the first episode of Mega Force back in 2013. Uh... And of course, Tommy is, gets all the screen time. I mean, some of the other Rangers get to talk, but like, Corone, Mike, Emily, they, they're not able to talk, I think. Neither Damon is, or Leo. I, I don't remember which Rangers, but Tommy was able to talk. Cassie and TJ. Leo does, does talk with the kid, but he doesn't talk in this legendary part. I don't remember, but yeah. But not all the Rangers get to talk. Obviously, then Tommy says, we're here to fight, and then they join together. Cassie tells Troy to take the lead, and they morph, and then they fight. And with two minutes, we see some uh, Gokaiju footage, which felt like nothing, because I didn't feel like I was actually watching the Power Rangers fight. I felt like I was watching Sentai fight. And when I did see the yellow, the normal Power Ranger footage, I knew it was the Power Rangers, but it didn't feel when I was watching the Alien Rangers go like this with the Ninja Storm Rangers. Another thing, aren't the Alien Rangers aliens? Then what are they doing fighting like Ninja style? That's that's what we get. The only explanation we get. And then the episode uh, after that, after like two minutes, the Rangers and Tommy says goodbye, and then they all just go like this, and then they disappear. And I think that's the part where it gets me confused. Or like, I mean, are they ghosts? Are they energy? And the only explanation I have for that is that they just all transported to their city. And there. Uh, I give this episode a 3 out of 5 for being a little epic. I hate it because it was a 2 minute legendary battle, which was not what I expected after waiting almost 2 years, a year, to see what I was going to get. Um, none of the legendary rangers, like half of them, weren't able to talk. The super mega rangers didn't get a final goodbye to the Gose. I don't, we don't know if they got gave back their powers, if they kept it. And Troy leaves the super mega saber in the ground. Which I wouldn't do that if I were you because a monster can pass by and take it. Or like a villain from next season, just get it and use it as power and destroy you guys. So we get we get a, a very smart Red Ranger. He's very smart. He's he, I think he, he's I think he's going to Yale for college. We know. And that was my review of the Legendary Battle episode. I hope you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, extended battle. I hope you guys watch it. I'm probably not going to watch it because I don't have Nicktoons. So I'm going to have to probably wait till Tuesday to get it. And I'll probably have a review up by either Wednesday or Thursday. But tomorrow on Monday, I'm going to my local Toys R Us to see if they have Dino Charge stuff. And today I went to I went to Kmart and they have this special which is $14.99 for the Legendary Megazords. And if you bought a 
Megazords, like I got the Q-Rex and some action figures from Wave 5 and 6, you get these coupons. And with those coupons, you can get five per five off, five dollars off of the toys. And since it's fourteen ninety nine and five dollars off, they'll probably be like, probably like ten dollars. With the taxes and everything, it'll probably be a, like ten dollars. So getting a legendary Turbo Falcon sword, which I have, I do not have yet, nor do I have the Super Mega Cannon. So I hope I can get that, and I can finish off, finish off my Super Mega Force collection and get ready for Dino Charge. So yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed filming the Legendary Battle with my all my action figures. If you do notice, I used some 4-inch figures like Robo Knight, and I used the Gold Ranger. And I also used the White Ranger. I hope you guys can spot that in the beginning of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you like Power Rangers or the Ranger Mania channel. And stay tuned for my Dino Charge vlogs. Bye.